Okay, my name is Isaac, and um, our group name is Mobi Electro DT. Um, um, my program name is Dino Maraji. So, Nikosa and Joseph. So, we'll be presenting a uh, My name is Dineo, as introduced by my fellow colleague Isaac, and we are Mobi Electro DT. Now, what Mobi Electro DT has been researching on is the conditions of the road. You travel every day, and each and every day there's a tragic accident that happens somewhere. Lives are lost. Some people's lives change for the worst because you were born with the ability to walk, then all of a sudden you cannot walk anymore because of a car accident. That's just the reality that we see on a daily basis. So we as Mobi Electro DT have come up with a solution that will help in reducing these problems which lead to deaths and also lead to life changing which are not very, very nice. Um, now, when you're traveling on the road, you'll see someone coming from the back. And when they come from the back, um, their lights are not working. So you cannot see that there's a car behind you. And then you brake. But then when you brake, because you have that confidence that there's no car behind you, you were very fast, then you went from 180 to 60, then they bump into you. Then what? It's insurance fights. Now with Mobi Electro, the, this project, what it, what it does is that we actually get to get your car to talk to you as the owner to tell you that, okay, there's a car behind you, to tell you that, okay, um, you're driving too fast, and I had there's a robot, and you won't make it for time. The robot is about to close. That's some of the features that would merge into a normal car. Now, what you're looking at down here, it's a prototype of an actual car, but then we use Boyer cars, as I explained before, that this is something that, yes, the boys used to play a lot with growing <laughs> up. And yes, they'll demo the system and explain more of the features. I'll hand over the mic to Isaac. Okay, um, as we, we, we can be able to, to, to view the slides here. So here we'll just show you um, how, to, how to basically control the car, because this car, as, as we said, is a smart car. It can be able to be controlled over, over a cell phone. So if you want to, 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 to maybe park it somewhere, or if you want to get some readings from sensors and stuff, you get it over the application. And all this information can be, uh, is also sent to, to, to the traffic department. So another feature that um, she, 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 she mentioned, it, um, when, when, you, when the car gets an accident, um, it doesn't really wait for, for any, any, other, uh, any other cars to pass. It's also you can see whether you have accident or something. It, it automatically reports itself. So it, it does send a, a notification to the traffic department and then it, it collects its coordinates and tell, oh, oh this, this some, something happens on the car. So the traffic department can confirm by, by calling the car back. If they can't find, reach anyone on the car, they call the owner of the car <coughs> and, and, and confirm whether it's accident. If, if they don't reach anyone based on the decision, they have to call them back immediately and give them the direction of where, where is the incident happening. Okay, so here we have an application. The software I'm holding here, which will be displayed on, on the projector, but um, it, it has got, it got a few shots here. Uh, you can check the, do the doors of the car. You can see when, when someone has clicked on the, on the application, they are opening there. And then, and, and, yeah, you, you can, can take a look and as you see. That. So, so this is basically controlling uh, from the application here. Um, Parking. 
So we could not really drive it for long distance, but just to for it from control flows. Um, and then the first thing I'm talking about, when, when um, the lights are not working, we, we, we could be playing on this, this car, we're going, we're going to implement um, receivers on the street, uh, something like the tone gates, or, or when, when there are cameras. So when this car passes around, um, around this location, in any place where we can read the car, it gets all the information to the traffic department. So, uh, so it, it just connects from the distance, immediately pass the, all, all the faulty that's around the car, like brake failures, uh, lights not working, uh, over, over temperature of the engine, it takes everything to the traffic department. And you analyze the data, and if they see something that is in the process, then they send back to the owner and tell you, okay, this kind of problem, go and fix it at the nearest, um, at the near, near, nearest place. And the one, so, so, so just to, to give, give users uh, the power to, to go, to run away, run towards, towards, towards uh, fixing their cars, you gotta say, uh, it's free, basically, if you, if you come to within an hour or within a few days after being notified. Or, 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 or it's cheaper. So this is how we could plan to do it around this. Okay, thank you everyone for being such a great audience. This is a system that we've developed to help save all our lives and to make sure that we get to our destinations. And as the campaign says, arrive alive, thank you.